Now that we know what the real solution is from our graphical method, we can continue with our analytic method, trying to see how we could solve it without drawing a graph. It's a bit more complicated, and I don't recommend trying to do it without drawing a graph first. To do this analytically, we just need to keep track of our ands and ors. For the first equation, the dADT equals zero condition, either a equals zero or a plus b equals 1000. We can pick either of these. So let's start off by looking at the case where a equals 0. If a equals 0, we've satisfied d a d t equals 0, so we don't need to look at the left equation anymore, and we can focus on the second equation, d b d t equals 0. Here again we have two choices, either b equals 0 or a plus b equals 500. Let's take the first choice, b equals 0. If a equals 0 and b equals 0, we satisfied both dADT equals 0 and dBDT equals 0. So this is an equilibrium. But we also had another choice. We could have chosen a plus b equals 500. If a is equal to 0 and a plus b equals 500, we can plug in a equals 0 so we can see that b equals 500 is a solution. Therefore, if a equals 0 and b is equal to 500, we've satisfied both of our conditions. d a d t equals 0 because a is equal to 0, d b d t is equal to 0 because a plus b equals 500. Therefore, a comma b equals 0 comma 500 is an equilibrium. We found all the equilibria where a is equal to 0. So now let's look at the second equation for the dADT equals zero condition. a plus b equals 1,000. If a plus b equals 1,000, we satisfied the first condition, and now we can turn our attention to the second. db dt equals zero, which means b is zero, or a plus b is 500. Let's choose b equals zero, the first one. If b is equal to zero, and a plus b is 1,000, then plugging in b equals 0, we get that a is 1,000. And so we have determined that a comma b equals 1,000 comma 0 is an equilibrium. Finally, we have one more condition for b. If a plus b equals 1,000, we satisfy da dt equals 0. And if simultaneously a plus b equals 500, then we would satisfy the equation db dt equals 0. But there's no simultaneous solution to a plus b equals 1000 and a plus b equals 500. So we don't get another equilibrium. Our dynamical system for the competition between two species has three equilibria. The equilibrium 0, 0 corresponds to the case where nobody is around, and that makes sense that it's an equilibrium. If neither of the two species are around, we don't get any individuals being beamed in from anywhere else, and so that's an equilibrium. The second equilibrium, 0, 0,500, corresponds to species B winning. In that case, there aren't any individuals in species A, and species B is at its carrying capacity 500. The third equilibrium, 1,000, 0, corresponds to species A winning. In this case, there are no individuals of species B around, and A is at its carrying capacity. We also give special names to the curves dADT equals 0 and dBDT equals 0. We call these curves, where one of the variables doesn't change, null clines. So the curve dADT equals 0 is called the A null cline, and the curve dBDT equals 0 is called the B null cline. No clients allow us to find equilibria because the equilibria are the points of intersection between the two no clients, and they also help us understand the behavior of solutions in the phase plane, since we know that one of the variables doesn't change on a no client. In the phase plane applet, you can check the no clients box to show the no clients of the system of differential equations. The blue curve is the x null cline, or a null cline in our case. 
and the green curve is the Y nocline, or B nocline in our case. And the three intersection points show the three equilibria. In this case, the equilibrium 1000, zero is the stable equilibrium where the solution goes. And species A wins, going to its carrying capacity of 1000, and B going to zero. Notice that along the B noke line, or the green curve, dB dt is zero. Since B is our vertical, or y-axis, dB dt equals zero means there's no vertical movement. And notice that when the trajectory crosses the green curve, it is moving exactly horizontally. Similarly, along the A noke line, dA dt is zero, meaning that there's no horizontal movement since A is a horizontal variable. And indeed, the trajectory crosses the A noke line vertically. Noke lines are a valuable tool, not just for determining equilibria, but also for getting a picture of how trajectories move in the phase plane. We'll use noke lines extensively when trying to understand the behavior of a system of two autonomous differential equations.